this was a triumph. We have all this uh, programming and, and entertainment that we've set up, but then there's this whole other shadow cruise happening with uh, the sea monkeys self-organizing into these little groups and, you know, I keep, I keep saying to people, it, it feels like I barely even need to be here at all. I think that the p sorts of people who opt to come on this cruise are the sorts of people who are good at designing their own fun. Invent events on the fly and, and write them on a board up in the game room and, and like my husband organized a couple poker tournaments. I taught a dance class. We had buttons printed up and had special stickers made for people who wanted to run on all three islands we visited. There's this group of uh, like a half dozen people on the, on the boat who um, put together this m amazing treasure hunt basically with clues, you know, made up of crossword puzzles and origami things that you had to fold up and get a word out of it seemed like about two months worth of work that they put into this just for the hell of it. As it turns out, there's been so much excitement at every hour of every day and so many fun things to do It always a game of something incredible in the game room. This game room, stocked with games brought by volunteers from their personal collections, has more games in it than some specific gaming conventions I have attended. It's very hard to just walk by and, and, and not hop in on whatever game is available. Uh, I've been playing Small World, um, played some cribbage, played uh, Cards Against Humanity. The Department of the Invisible Hand. The Department of Tipsters. The Department of Being a Motherfucking Sorcerer. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. I have this fantastic deck. Somebody, somebody at Wizards of the Coast made a, a, a card called Creepy Doll, which is based on one of my songs. And they made Scarface a deck based on the Deranged Assistant card. And he and I have really become huge Magic the Gathering nerds. You talk to people like, oh man, yeah, we were out playing games till 5.30 and I had to get up at 9 for my excursion today. But they do it and then the next night they're out till 6.30. Because yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, like, the, the, the type of people who, who come onto the cruise beyond just the entertainers themselves who are kind of in, you know, up in their industry. So like, you know, even with the game room, uh, a whole, the loonies were one whole family who they invented Flux, which is one of the main games that a lot of people play. And, and they were even demoing a new version of it. It's a cruise that I would like to go on, <laughs> if I could. <laughs> In terms of the theme, though, don't be afraid. I mean, there will be a lot of fighting. There will be a lot of killing. There will be a lot of betraying and backstabbing. Well, of course. Because it's supposed to happen that way.